That's good. That's a good boy. Now all you gotta do is get your claws out of my hand. Thank you. But now we're gonna weigh her because with her weight, then we can verify what her sex is. And the weight of this bird is 585 grams. Okay, that's rather small for a female at this age, but that's what it is. That's the same weight as the last bird that we did that was a male. 585 grams, 585. Okay, that's a little bit more than a pound. So there's something else I'm going to do too. I have a leg gauge. Females are larger than males, and they have a tarsus, which is this part of their leg. We don't have a tarsus, well, we do have a tarsus, but it's part of our ankle. And I'm gonna put the leg gauge on this bird, and we'll find out how large her tarsus is. Well, what do you think of that? It's loose in the 7A. Hmm? Seven eight, you're yeah. yeah. This bird, I'm going to call sex uncertain. Okay. And it's important for us to know the sex because females take a larger band than a male. And if we put a band that's a little bit too large on a bird, that's no problem. If we put on a band that's too small, that is a problem. Sometimes people ask me, does a band hurt the bird? Well, I'm wearing a watch, that's not hurting me. I'm wearing a ring, that's not hurting me. But we don't want to put on something too small. So I'm going to record this in the notes as being sex uncertain, and just to be sure, we're gonna put on the larger band. Yes, little guy, well. I was calling that a female before, and now I'm not sure. So it's going to go in the notes as sex uncertain. Put it on the table. What's that? Put it on the table. Put it on the table? No. If we put, put, put this bird on the table, it'll just flop around. OK, can you get the number from that band? It's 1947-31014. You got that? Okay, so this band is going on this bird's, and I'm going to stop calling this her and start calling it it. Okay? And can I have a quick look at this? Okay, well. <laughs> so this band is what we call a lock-on band. These birds are so strong, their bill is so strong, that if I put an ordinary bird band on here, then this youngster would play with it and could actually remove it. And we don't like that to happen. So this is a lock-on band. It has a tab that folds over so that this bird cannot take the band off. And when I'm squeezing with the pliers, I'm squeezing the band. I'm not squeezing the leg. And then I'm going to put on a piece of colored tape to make it easy to tell who this is. The one that I did upstairs was red, it will be patriotic. This one will be white. And the next one that I'll do will be blue. And I'm just gonna put on a thin strip of tape. The thin strip is a little harder for observers to see, but I don't wanna cover up the numbers on that band. So that if anybody finds this bird later, they can see the numbers on the band and they can see the uh, toll-free phone number and they can see the web address. What about mom and dad? 
Yeah, they're upstairs. They're flying around. Or hopefully, they are feeding the birds. Ann tells us that these birds all had breakfast at, what, 7, 7.30 this morning. These birds, as they're growing, they get six meals a day, typically. Do you eat six meals a day? Let me tell you something else. In another week, this bird, when it's four weeks old, will be just as big as its parents. Were you just as big as your parents when you were four weeks old? You're not yet. That's how fast these birds grow. It is totally amazing how fast these birds grow. Then its left leg will get one of these color-coded bands. Okay, so we're getting O3 over BS. And that's black over green. And that's going on the left leg. And this one gets secured in a different way. These are what we call rivet bands. So these have rivets. Again, this isn't squeezing the leg. It's not hurting the bird at all. We're not hurting this bird, but she or it doesn't know what's going on. And so that's just an automatic reaction.